Hi, I'm Ryan McCaffrey with Official Xbox Magazine, and today we are here in downtown San Francisco to check out Mass Effect 2. It is one of the single most hotly anticipated games of 2010, and it's only January. We're going to talk to BioWare CEO Ray Musica, and he's going to give us the full scoop on the new RPG sequel. Shepard, but you're dead. Well, it's a bit of a surprise, I guess, and in, in, in you find out pretty quickly in the first half hour or so what's happened. Uh, during the course of the you know the prior period before between Mass Effect One and Mass Effect Two, but you know that that is a, it's a couple of years and Mass, and Commander Shepard is um, he's still playing as Commander Shepard and uh, in the first first bit of the game you actually figure out what's happening and uh, you get a lot of context so you don't have to have played Mass Effect One in order to have a great experience in Mass Effect Two. It's a standalone adventure, uh, amazing experience start to finish and. Uh, I think uh, players are going to enjoy it, whether, whether they play Mass Effect 1 before or not. He has no idea what he's getting into. To his credit, he's recruiting an impressive team. Well, we kept track of all the great choices you made in Mass Effect 1, you know, the, the choices and the consequences of your actions, who lived, who died, what, what outcomes were there at the end of the game. And um, we always had a goal in mind to be able to import save games from, from Mass Effect 1 to 2. And we even have some surprises in store to keep track of your decisions in the first game. And maybe, maybe we'll take, take account of those in the third game. But we basically reflect them and uh, we make certain assumptions if you haven't played Mass Effect 1 when you play Mass Effect 2 but if you have you're going to have that much more personalized an experience because you're going to see some of those choices reflected. Purgatory. So Mass Effect 2 is on a couple discs and why is that the case? Well it's hard to fit as much content as we got to fit an entire galaxy just on the one disc so I think you'll see the uh, the fidelity of the optional content, the uncharted worlds, the backstories, all the cool stuff that you don't have to do, it's off the beaten path, really reflected. And we took that feedback to heart from fans and press in terms of just, it's it's over the top, it's awesome, it's as good as the main game. Shepard! Distress Beacon is ready for launch. One of the options you have is to continue playing the game after you finish the main story arc, continue to explore the galaxy map and do PDLC and other cool things that uh, will reveal over time. Uh, but you can also take a character and import them back in and depending on how many times you do that you get new bonus abilities but the main thing we're focusing on for the import of the save games is sort of the, the choices you made from the story perspective from Mass Effect 1 to 2 and you'll see why when you play the first half hour of Mass Effect 2 why that is you, you get to understand you know where Shepard's at and really what put it all into context but you know, when you play it you'll understand You know, at Bioware, we're always looking for other genres for inspiration. So I'd say Mass Effect 2 is as much a shooter as it is an RPG. It's got an incredible richness and depth. The story is as good or better than in Mass Effect 1. we got interrupts now, so you can even take charge of the action even that, not that much more. And sort of vers visceral kind of responses in the middle of dialogue or gameplay. But the shooter aspects of the game have been intensified tremendously. Things like you mentioned, the, the cover system or the tactical depth of deploying your squad mates on different parts of the battlefield so you can flank enemies. The, the emergent uh, interactions between tech abilities and biotic abilities and the way you choose between ammo types on the fly in your, in your uh, uh, command wheel. Uh, the, it's really accessible, it's really easy to use, and yet the depth and richness is there. And I love the way that the pacing just pulls you along. And I think that's all just going back. You know, we look for other genres for inspiration and merge them with traditional RPG elements like exploration, progression customization, combat and story, and fit it all together and you got something that's pretty amazing. Thanks, Ray. For the world-exclusive review of Mass Effect 2, be sure to pick up the February 2010 issue of Official Xbox Magazine, which is on sale now.